Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be going over the, all of the differences between a bucket server, a spigot server, and a paper server. First and foremost though, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server on them, play.breakdowncraft.com. So if you're looking for an incredible Minecraft server host, Apex is truly the best. You can check them out again at the first link down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex. Get an Incredible 24 hour DDoS protected server running paper, spigot, or bucket, any of the server software you want on the best hardware currently available to run Minecraft servers on. So, again, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex first link down below. So, what is the difference between a bucket server, a spigot server, and a paper server? Well, first and foremost, they can all run bucket plugins. This is because spigot is a fork of bucket and paper is a fork of spigot, meaning they can all run plugins that can work on a bucket server and that is most plugins. However, some plugins are made just for spigot or just for paper and those won't be able to run on bucket. However, if you have a spigot server, you'll be able to run any and all plugins that are made for bucket and you'll be able to run any and all plugins that are made for spigot. If you move on to a paper server, you'll be able to run any plugins that work on all three, whether it's bucket, whether it's spigot, or whether it's paper, you should be able to run them without any problems on your server. Now, plugins aren't the only difference between these three distributions. I just wanted to kind of present up front how plugins work on them. Basically, bucket can only run bucket plugins, spigot can run spigot and bucket plugins, and paper can run plugins for all three of them. However, these aren't the only differences. So first and foremost, Bucket is the original Minecraft server hosting platform outside of like a vanilla server. It is what brought plugins to Minecraft. It allowed awesome plugins that we all know and love and use today, like World Edit, MCMMO, Essentials, Grief Prevention, all of these awesome plugins were made possible because of Bucket and because Bucket was created to be able to add in plugins to Minecraft. The problem is Bucket is very, very inefficient. It isn't optimized really at all. It's very sluggish, very slow, and it really started to become a problem when Minecraft servers wanted to go from like 10 to 20 friends online to hundreds of thousands of players online in your server. So whenever you start to scatter these huge numbers, Bucket just can't, it just can't do it. And with that, Spigot was born. Spigot takes and optimizes the bucket code, making it more efficient, streamlining it, cleaning it up, and just making it all work a little bit better and a lot more efficiently. Spigot also works with Bungie Cord, allowing you to hook multiple servers together at one time. Let's say you run a network server like we do at play.breakdowncraft.com. Over there, we hook three servers together, a lobby server, a survival server, and a skyblock server using Bungie Cord. You can't do this with Bucket. You have to be running a Spigot distribution or a paper distribution to be able to do that. Spigot does allow for some additional features with some plugins and some plugins don't work on Bucket, but will just work on Spigot. For example, World Edit has features that only work on Spigot plugins. If you try to do them on a Bucket server, they just won't work. World Edit will work on a Bucket server, but just some of its features will not work on a Bucket server. However, they will all work on Spigot. Spigot isn't without all of its faults though, and over time, it has actually become less optimized and less focused on reducing lag. It's still really efficient in comparison to Bucket, but it's not what it could be. And so with that, paper came into existence. Paper was started by a group of developers who just wanted to make Spigot more efficient again. And with that, it's completely open source. Like literally, you can go look at all of the paper code right now at this very second because it's 100% open source. Paper is a fork of Spigot, but it's updated much, much more actively than Spigot is. Spigot is pretty much one developer, whereas Paper is a bunch of developers. It's open source, remember? If you wanted to go code something with Paper, you could. You want to go fix a bug in Paper? You can go do that because it was 100% open source. And that allows it to grow and get bugs fixed and move a lot quicker than Spigot does. The overall goal of Paper is to make Minecraft as lag-free as possible when it comes to a server experience. There are 113 servers out there, ours included, that would not exist if Paper did doesn't exist. It does that much towards lag reduction, towards improving server performance, and overall streamlining running a Minecraft server. Paper even adds back in async chunk loading, something that makes chunk loading so much more efficient on Minecraft servers, but was removed by Spigot a few versions ago. Now Paper says, we're going to do it, we're going to add it back in. They take the time to do it, and it does take time. It took them almost three months to get it up and running in 1.13.2, but they committed to it, and Paper does have async chunk loading in 1.13 when Spigot said, nope, we're not doing it. Overall though, what should you run? If you're wanting to start a Minecraft server, 
what should you run your server on? Well, the answer is pretty simple. If it's available, if it's updated, you should always 100% of the time run Paper. Again, Paper has an incredibly active development community, like over the top with tons and tons of contributors constantly fixing bugs. Paper has some of the best independent developers Minecraft's ever seen working on it. And on top of that, I mean, they have stuff for everything lag reduction, even hoppers, entity lag, all sorts of stuff like that. Paper has fixes for it. Literally, I've seen people have such a laggy server, it's unplayable. They just drop the paper jar in and you're good to go. And that's another thing. If you're currently running Bucket or Spigot, you should be able to upgrade to paper by just dragging and dropping your jar file in. Obviously back everything up just in case, but because paper is a fork of Spigot and a fork of Bucket, that means it's going to be pretty much drag and drop to switch from either Bucket or Spigot directly in to a paper setup. So there you have it. That's what the difference between bucket, spigot, and paper is. Overall, just always run paper. If you have any questions about any of these different server distributions, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'm more than happy to talk about it, help you out. I love this stuff. This is literally what I love. I do it every single day. It's incredible. But nevertheless, thank you all so, so much for watching. If you're looking for an incredible 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server running paper, come play with us at play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. We have 1.13.2 soon to be 1.14. Incredible, grief protected survival. We've also got custom Skyblock, the best around, over 100 players online, 24 hours a day. So go and play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Nevertheless, thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. It helped you out. And if you want more incredible server-related videos, subscribe to the channel for them. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I am out. Peace.